Okay, I've had a few questions about the performance of using VMware Fusion uh, in conjunction with the Mac OS and sort of exactly how efficient is it. Um, and the purpose of this is just to give you an idea of how well it does actually work. So first thing I'll show you is the specs of this machine. And as you can see, it's only a 2 gigahertz processor. This is a 2008 MacBook, uh, the one with the aluminium body. Um, before they were called MacBook Pros, I think, or something along those lines. Anyway, it's only got 4 gigs of RAM. And go to some more information. Graphics. And the graphics card is a NVIDIA GeForce 9400M. So nothing too spectacular. It's only got 256 uh, RAM in it. Um, so that's basically the spec of this machine. It's not a high spec machine by any means. It's a late 2008 model. Okay. So what we'll do, first thing I'll do is uh, start up VMware. And this will boot up Windows. Whilst it's booting up Windows, I'm going to go back into the uh, Mac side of things. Close that off. Uh, going into Finder. And as you can see, we're in Finder at the moment. And um, only network device at the moment available is our link station, which is a NAS. And um, I'll show you what will happen shortly. And Windows 7 is booting up reasonably quickly. And we're in Windows 7. Okay. Okay, and Windows 7 is pretty much loaded up. And that should be happy. So the first thing I'll show you is uh, I'll go back to the Mac side of things. Um, and if I go to Network, I'll go onto the PC side of things. And if we look here carefully, you'll notice that um, the Windows 7 has been issued with the IP address 192.168.1.7, and the Mac here has been issued with 192.168.1.6. So both devices have got their own unique IP addresses, and they're managed like uh, like two separate PCs, but the beauty of it is you can actually flick virus database has been updated. backwards and forwards um, between the two. So I can go to the Mac and everything's working A-OK -okay, as you can see, you know, um, everything's still smooth. And mind you, I am doing a Windows capture here too. And I can go back to the PC side of things and everything will work just as well. I've got... Um, some of my business applications like um, QuickBooks and this runs on the Windows side of things so as you can see that's all working alright I don't want to back it up go back to, um, actually what I will do is run we'll open Maya which is a reasonably heavy duty 3D application. What I'll do is I'll take that to full screen and I'll also open up uh, QuickBooks. Um, so say for argument's sakes, these are the applications I'm actually running and I've got Windows Explorer also open. One thing you can do is run this in what's called um, Unity mode. Now the beauty of this is all the windows are here and all operational together and I can flick through them. Um, I can go to Firefox. I think I must have closed Firefox off, have I? No, it's over here. Firefox. Um, I can go to Windows Explorer on the PC side of things. I can go to um, have I minimised it? There it is. I've got QuickBooks. 
and it all works pretty seamlessly. So as you can see, um, the performance isn't really compromised. Um, flicking through all the applications is quite smooth. Uh, Maya. There you go, we've got Maya up. Um, I can go to Windows Explorer. That's all working fine. I can go to Firefox on the Mac. I can open up uh, Mail. I can um, go to Finder. That's all working okay. And as you can see, Finder's discovered um, the link station and also this PC. Now, I obviously haven't shared anything on the PC side of things, but that's available to me too. Um, and it all works pretty seamlessly. So there's no, the integration really does work well. Um, there are no real issues. I think the only time you're going to experience issues is if you're running games. And the games are pretty heavy duty as far as graphics, etc. go. Um, but uh, it seems to work and work quite smoothly. Create Polygon Sphere. Uh, put shading on. And as you can see, I can revolve around quite easily. I'm not sure how the capture is on this, but it's pretty smooth on this PC. It's all working fine. Um, no dramas whatsoever. So, um, like I said, there's a few different ways you can actually run this. It, it's really up to you. Um, I personally like running this... Um, under full screen mode, I just seem to like it better than running it um, under uh, which we call it? Uh, was it view full screen? I sort of like running them as two separate machines, as in the PC and the uh, Mac. But yeah, like I said, look, they both work quite seamlessly. I know this uh, quick rundown has been sort of all over the place, but it gives you an idea of how well it works. Anyway, hope you find that helpful.